Hello everyone, there's Srupiel and this is the uh, Novel Action Patch 9.97 A quick overview of the of the current in-game changes, mostly focusing on the on the PvP Also I'll be opening uh, later on, at the end of the video, two chests, paint chest and ship chest Which are the rewards from the PvP uh, Right now, three times during the day, we have uh, PvP uh, areas on the map. They're currently uh, the deep water one was initially here. It was moved more to the uh, more to the east, so it's more likely here right now. So it's very close to Villa 2, Lanavas, or even if you're coming from Mortimer Town or KPR, Kingston Port Royal. Uh, so it, it's it's a very uh, well accessed area for most of the players because. This is a very populated area on the map and we've got the shallow water PvP area which is in the rookie zone I, I, maybe not rookie zone, it, it, it's maybe not a rookie zone but it's it's right there, it, oh, it's, it's, it's not a rookie zone as far as I know but the, the shallow uh, PvP is between Shroud K and Kai Romano so it, it's very close to the rookie zone which is around here and uh, it's also close to the Mortimer Town, so a lot of pirates are coming for that event. And it's very close to Villa Habana, so many Spanish players are coming with with the US players as well. I'm sure US players are based on, on these US ports in the shallow. Uh, so mostly participating players are as pirates. Uh, US Dutch also, they've got here capital. And I've seen quite a lot of French. Uh, is the French cup? No, it's the Swedish cup. Only one Swede, I think, total. I saw in that event a few Brits. And I actually think the Shell PvP event is the best one. As I love seeing my rattlesnake, I see a lot of heavy rattlesnakes, I see a lot of Mercuries, I see a lot of Niagaras as well. A few Navi Bricks now as well. I uh, haven't seen Privateer yet, I'm waiting for Pagan Pit to come in his Phantom with the little Willy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for if you have here Admiralty PvP event, uh, right now it's happening three times every day. Uh, so for, for three time zones, mostly for the European, Aussies, and the US, for the Americas, but it's going to change, it's going to be more frequently. Uh, and here you can basically see the number, the leaderboard for the last PvP that happened. That that was uh, a few hours ago. Uh, here's the King of Crowns, Venom, uh, that I killed <laughs> during that event. Uh, there is a short break in the alliance with the British and uh, US nation. It's a bug, uh, a politics bug in this game. And I've got basically two kills and I was assisting in one of the battle 5 versus 5 with the pirates so it was an even battle, very fair uh, we basically lost only snow, we sunk 5 enemies I've got no kills in that battle because I was running a boarding setup so I was just killing the crew, I killed 200 crew, I was also chaining that's the only thing I could do in that fight uh, for, for, for that kind of bigger battles I have to bring my poor battle heavy rattlesnake or something similar. Uh, anyway, um, 10 players are getting random rewards. It's, it doesn't matter who's top 1, who's top 3, top 10. They, they all get random paint chest and ship, ship chest, uh, which they can open, they, they can redeem in the port. When they, You can see here I've got redeemables. Uh, yeah, the endemon in the Falcable are the, f the free ships that everyone received. They are full durability 3 5, exceptionals. Uh, with the British refit, I think Bermuda, Cedar and Speed, they are both. I'm not sure on that because I haven't redeemed that yet. Uh, Indefatigable is so-so because after the nerfs it's not that great ship, but still uh, the best ship running fully coronates as he, he has uh, the heaviest coronates uh, if you consider frigates. Um, and Endymion is actually a great ship for an open world PvP. So I see a lot of players recently selling these three endemons. Uh, what else? Uh, 
we can use right now after the update the tow system. Uh, let me let me check for example this constitution I captured from the French. I can right click and use tow request. Basically you just choose an outpost where you want to send the the ship. Uh, you can send them between the sh your outposts and the ship will arrive after the maintenance. So it's a pretty decent form of teleporting your ships instead of using missions or using uh, a Scotty taxi uh, service. Uh, it's it's not that fast that quick but if you're not in a hurry it's the easiest way. I like that change a lot. It, it, you can have also to pay for it, but it's it, the, the price is not that high, especially with the current inflation for saying the finals. Everyone, are, everyone is a millionaire with the current game state. Um, yeah, also the when I go to the missions, there, there are two PPE challenges, a PPE challenge kills and PPE challenge time. And they removed the boarding possibility in these events, and basically, um, in this time, in, in this one, you have to sink as many Cerberuses as you can. Uh, in in the uh, in the time of actually, I think you have few Cerberuses. Not not sure how many, and you have to sink all of them. And it shows your time. It shows your damage. And uh, other than that, we've got PVE challenge kills. So you've got uh, 15 minutes, no, no, not 15 minutes, you've got um, kill, as many, kill as much enemy ships as you can within single match. Uh, so there is no time, uh, uh, there, there is a time limit and you have to kill as many as possible. I've seen players killing for like 5 uh, Cerberus, that, that's I think best result anyone achieved. There's a guy that got a very low damage, Eloise Haikan. I'm sure he was using the strategy to put the leaks. That's what I think. Or maybe he was just only focusing one side, that's also possible. But hard to achieve. Um, let's just now go and uh, redeem the, the, the uh, rewards from the, from the events. The paint chest and, and the ship chest. Okay. First, I'm going to use the the paint chest. Yeah, I can. I have to click convert. It weighs thousand, but luckily, when you got the paint, you can teleport to the capital. What is it? What is it? It's Pusentar Breast Harbor. Wow, that's lovely. That's actually lovely. I'm going to send it to the chat. And we've got a ship chest. I'm not sure if I've got the. Uh, place here in my docks. I've got already five ships here. I might get rid of that Legos Ventre. I've captured it the other day from the from the Spanish player. And I of the Storm is the, the another lucky owner of the Bucentaur Breast Harbor. So the ship chest, yeah, I should redeem it in, in uh, other port to be honest, or I, I might just destroy the, the constitution. Uh, I think, yeah, I will probably destroy the constitution. Or maybe keep it for a duel. I'll destroy the legal center. I've got no idea what to do, what to destroy. Uh, I'll create a reload. Explorer. I will destroy the legal center, removing just the marines from it. Green Marines, taking the repair kits, converting fish, yeah, fish meat is very good source of the income, <laughs> Kappa, of course I'm trolling, nothing in the hole, destroy the cannons, okay, let's just sell it for 10,000. And I'm opening the ship chest. I can get the ocean, I can get Agamemnon, I can get the of the Gable Demion Pirate Frigate, which are rare to receive, exceptional. You can't get them from the NPC, you can't craft them. In Trotto Snake Heavy. I'm actually hoping for for Villa Ocean. Oh I'm hoping for I'm I'm really sad you can't get that you can't get Santa Cecilia from these chests. And this is the Agamemnon note. I'm actually thinking if I can I t 
teleport with the with the Agamemnon node? Probably yes, because you can teleport with the paints, they do not wait anything. Uh, maybe you can tele teleport with the blueprints as well. I haven't tested that one. Okay, so let's let's convert the Agamemnon node. Oh, let's also send to the chat. Uh, what are people saying in the global chat? I got some system CCD below the classic white. Um, okay, let's let's convert it. Let's see what's going on. What kind of ship I, I get. And this is Bermuda Cedar wood type, crew space and agile hull bombs. Wow, oh, I think that this is not the the, the worst Agamemnon like because th this can be a very good Agamemnon like for the boarding or for PvP, open world PvP because first thing is going to be fast because it's Bermuda Cedar it has crew space so addi additional 25 sailors and 50 from the hammocks so it will be 575 and agile hull bonus which is increasing the speed of acceleration and deceleration in the combat which is really great bonus it, it, it will help a lot I think I mean it's not the best obviously I would love to see a like a memo of the pirate traffic Bermuda Cedar and maybe crew space or speed that would be a beast one like a memo for the open world PvP <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, I'm not going to complain because that's that's the second like a memo I've got from the uh, PvP event. Okay, so uh, I think what else I can say about the patch? The, the poor battles in land are going to be introduced uh, later on. Uh, they're not yet introduced to the game because the developers have a delay. They they wanted to implement the patch. They are still implementing some. Uh, Hot fixes and bug fixes. Uh, they they fixed the Zynal, Zynalink perk, which is oh I, I bought the officer perks. Yeah, my officer just died. I, this is the new one, Venetia Russo. Uh, the coward perk was removed from the game, but apparently the French nation was not removed. I'm not sure where, where, how they report this bug. Uh, with all the regards for the French nation, I'm just trolling, of course. I love the Frenchies and I love the Spaniards. Nothing personal. Uh, the coward perk was removed. I like this. Actually, I would keep the coward perk for the traders. But using coward perk as a as a, as a combat ship, that was very something that I really disliked. Because it's hard to keep a ship tucked for every one minute. Actually, you have to keep it tucked for every 55 seconds before, before because the uh, the timer resets after five seconds when you're tucked. So it it must be every 55 seconds. Uh, so yeah, like there's most of the time no place for the mistake. Uh, I wouldn't mind also, I know, them giving a, a small bonus to the pirates. So the pirates were. We're a nation capable of using the covert perk, as it's let's say kind of a pirate's play style, but the one minute is too ridiculous. I would make it one minute thirty seconds, to be honest. Other than that, we've got the Zynalink perk. Battle stays open for your allies if you're outnumbered during the initial attack. You still here, Slurp? It means that uh, basically. Ah, they're trolling me. Ooh, Constitution Rock Noir, not bad. Um, other than that, it, it means that the, the, the battle stays open till it's balanced. It had several bugs after the uh, the patch, but some of them were fixed. I hope that all of them were fixed. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, what else I can say? Uh, this is probably everything. Uh, 
Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you go to the ships, to the shop, you go to the fourth raid, there is the weapon from Ham. Ham. Ham what's the full name? Is it? Is it, the full name is not Ham, I think, or maybe it is. Uh, this is the ship that that's already in the program of the game in the, in the code, but it's still not available in the game. So we have to wait for it. Actually, we have no much information if it's going to be uh, wide available for all players or just special blueprint for events or just from the uh, ship chest. We don't know. We have to wait for more information. This is not going to be the, the greatest for freight because it's it's very old style ship uh, from the uh, older years uh, or from the past than than the 18th century ships. Uh, and of course, as I said, the finals were removed. Uh, you can sell them for huge amount of no, not that amount, <laughs> of a huge amount of gold. Like, wait, is this everything gone already by now? No, you, there is fine Bermuda here for thirty-four thousand. Uh, fine live oak is someone has a contract on that. Yeah, fine fear, fine oak, fine tea, fine fine. Yeah, but, but, the prices were a bit ridiculous because now people have like some of the players made an income of 400 million gold actually I do not complain because people have gold now players have gold to spend it on upgrades on ships so they can basically go and not be scared about the PvP because they can buy more ships they can uh, replace them they can take better upgrades I like it to be honest for me that's all thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to like subscribe see you later bye